Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Frank Torrent, and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing as the French Commune. Alright, so let's just go and jump on into today's episode. I'm going to try another advance into Italy, uh, but this time we're going to wait until we get the full planning bonus here. We're only sitting at 14% of a maximum 65% right now. So we're going to try and uh, get the full planning bonus over there before we launch it. And also this time I'll attempt to give them some air support over here if we can. Uh, now the Alpine region is under their control, but they're doing that with only 93 fighters. Uh, so we'll make them work for it at the very least. If they want control of the zone, they're going to have to fight some of our own fighters. They have to devote some fighters over here. Uh, I don't think they have any planes over here yet. Yeah, it looks like uh, Greece is fully under their control. Uh, the Germans probably losing a, using a lot of planes over here to uh, bomb the Soviets that are going through. Uh, looks like the submarines of the Soviets are also engaging troop convoys from the Germans. So a lot of troop convoys uh, being sunk from all sides out there. And uh, remember, we're still trying to advance towards Tripoli. Moving incredibly slow over here, but uh, looks like we should be able to get over there. This is also green now, or it was. Kind of rocking back and forth, and Tripoli is unfortunately defended. I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't be. I suppose that might have been a bit naive on my part. Uh, so now we're not going to win here. So let's just go ahead and stop that then. All right, so Lithuania has gone and become a kingdom. We'll have to see what happens with them in Poland. Uh, Poland and Romania have not yet actually uh, fully joined up. Romania is just a puppet. I think eventually, though, they'll be annexed by them. Germans continue attacking here, and that's right, I did say I was going to pull some divisions off here, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I think we might send them down here. There's not a lot down here. So maybe send a few more, and then also send them some onto this front as well. I think we have a couple Paris. provinces that aren't defended here. Looks like we have one province that isn't currently defended, so let's go and move one of these guys over there. Yeah, we'll move one over here. And then we'll move one of these guys over here. And then move Attention. this guy here, over here. Alright, so I know that's going to further exhaust supply. Uh, it's going to take them some time to get down here, though. And it's only in the far north that we're actually hurting on supply. Uh, we did lose another submarine over here. Soviets lost a light cruiser. And it looks like that's not going away. Alright, so we need to attack Tripoli. That is key for us. Yeah, I just don't I think don't we'll be able to win there, though. Yeah, you can't win there. All right, so that's unfortunate. They're attacking us here. Uh, we might be able to let them get so weak, and then they'll we'll be able to attack here. Uh, Luxembourg just joined the combat turn, and they called Canada in as our ally. Well, that's interesting. How'd that end up going down? Was Canada guaranteeing them or something? Huh. And isn't Canada part of that other faction? Yeah, the, the Commonwealth of Nations they always form. Now, eventually, they, they end up having all the other countries, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa, the former Dominions, will leave that faction, uh, but that didn't happen. Okay, so that's going to cause lots of problems, guys. Uh, essentially, Australia and South Africa will not be able to join our own faction now because they're already at war, so they won't be able to leave the faction. Uh, so... We won't have South Africa or Australia in our faction. Uh, New Zealand will not be in a faction with the United States. And Canada will not be in the Axis. Uh, they have their own faction, and they're now at war with the Axis. Hmm. All right, so that's unfortunate. Uh, you know, these these uh, setups never go the way we want to exactly. They always kind of uh, have some sort of issue. It is what it is. Uh, but since they're in the, the war, we're going to try and request some Lend-Lease. We desperately need infantry equipment, so anybody who's willing to give it to us, we will take it from them. Because, yeah, we desperately need infantry equipment. So far, everybody's saying no. But maybe once we've got non-aggression packs with them, I don't think New Zealand would give us anything. Uh, well, we can ask our allies as well. See if they'll give us any. It looks like the Soviets will give us infantry equipment. How about the Spaniards? They're already giving us infantry equipment. Okay. Alright, so we got some equipment from the Soviets. Uh, again, that's the main thing we need. Uh, we're actually... Uh, have We have less now than we did before, and that's because of the losses we've taken in combat. Uh, they've left this open, so let's advance. Yeah, we'll take that province. And then maybe we can grab uh, the province behind Tripoli. That's a possibility. 
Uh, we got the computing machines. That's at 5% research speed. Excellent. Uh, we could go ahead and go with the next radar, though. Uh, one problem here is we, we can't build them right now. Uh, but I suppose this would give us the new uh, radios for those tanks, which I never did add that one gun onto them. Uh, but I think we're going to wait to do that until we have a bit more to upgrade them with. Like, we want the radios for them. So I suppose we can go and get radar. Uh, another thing we might want to get is uh, the improved engines. Because I think when we switch to that one gun, our, our uh, tanks will actually get slower. And they're already kind of slow. Yeah, I don't think we send this guy over here. We already have the supply issues. The Hungarians just joined the conflict. Okay, so that's going to be... Well, they might have already been in the conflict. Yeah, I think they already did get pulled in. I was going to say, that's going to be bad for Czechoslovakia. But yeah, you can see they're already getting hit by them. Uh, we sunk another convoy here. I almost want to move our... I mean, we still got all this stuff going through here. We haven't done anything to the German service fleet. Uh, but I really want to move the rest of our fleet over to the Mediterranean to deal with the uh, uh, the Italian fleet. But we can't do that until we sink this German task force. Or at least put them in a port or something. Do some serious damage to them. Uh, so yeah, we were able to advance here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and push forward here now. This is what I really want. And uh, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Bangladesh has signed a white peace. And Turkey's been called into the entire conflict. I think they're already in it. Maybe not, though. Maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I hope the Turks do well. It looks like they're getting assistance from the Soviets. That's a natural front for the Soviets to go to. This makes sense. Uh, these guys are now trying to cause us problems here. Let me just... Well, okay, this works. All right, so we need to attack here. Uh, we'll have this guy go here. Let's go ahead and pump a bunch of divisions up over here. Uh, both of these guys are going over, the, going over there already, so we'll send all three of these guys over this way then. Alright, so we need to get another division over here so they don't take that from us. And the Canadians want military access. We will accept that. They are supposed to be an enemy of ours, but again, it looks like things are going to go a little bit differently. So it's saying only one division's here. Okay, there's two. I think it's just because one of them's currently moving. Alright, so that didn't work. Not at all. Alright, we really want this guy to stay here, but I don't think I'm about to, to force him to. And uh, we'll take that non-aggression pact too. And with the non-aggression pact, I'm wondering if they'll be willing to give us the lease now. They will. All right, so let's go and get that infantry equipment from them. And look at this. We're finally having some success up here. Sunk three Italian convoys there. I don't know if these are troop convoys as well. Yeah, these are troop convoys too. Uh, lost a plane there. Attempting to sink more convoys. Yeah, we're sinking some convoys through here. Uh, troop convoys. All right, well, that's good news. We'll take it. Uh, this episode, I have to remember to uh, check the casualties uh, so we can see how well we've done against the Italians, particularly in the sea. I imagine we, we've killed a lot of the troops. We'll also see how many troops the uh, Soviets have lost before, uh, so far. Uh, we lost four destroyers. God damn. All right, so I think we're going to need to stop these these guys here for now, unless we let them patrol. But frankly, it uh, looks like fuel is an issue. So let's go ahead and pull both of these back. Uh, where is he currently at repairing? Over here. Well, that's fine, I suppose, for now. All right, so yeah, we're going to have to pull him back now, guys. Uh, and we got to figure out what's going on with the supply, uh, the fuel. Okay, so we should probably stop trading with the Americans and trade with somebody where it doesn't have to go overseas. And it looks like the Dutch will be the only option. But at least we have an option. So we're going to trade with the Dutch. And I don't know how much we're going to get from it. It looks like not much. We're one fuel short on that. That's fine. And I guess we will snap the trade with the Americans then in that case. I'm trying to think of another route that would be better. I mean, the British route would be... I mean, then we're trading with an ally, or a future enemy, excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, going to the South America, North America, all that's going to be the same. Maybe the Dutch East Indies might be better, but yeah, I don't think so, guys. We'll just trade with the Americans. We just won't trade as much, so it doesn't impact us as bad. That should help, but yeah, it's still pretty bad. Yeah, we're still very short on the fuel right now, unfortunately. Alright. Not really much we can do about it. Uh, you know, as the, the French, that is one of the issues that you face. Uh, you just don't have any uh, oil. Alright, so over here, they did have to stop their attack. And uh, we just gotta grab that. See how we can do about doing that. Let me try attacking with all these guys here. 
Uh, we can take that air base. It doesn't really have that much of an effect, but uh, we might be able to get behind this guy here. Yeah, we just keep on doing these attacks here. Once we take Tripoli, I'm going to move this guy over here now and get rid of this. Uh, once we take Tripoli, we'll have a, a supply hub over here. So that's imperative to get. I don't think there's any more anywhere nearby until we get to Benghazi. So that means they'll probably have supply issues too. I don't know where all their troops went. Uh, I think they pulled them out of North Africa to fight elsewhere. That's what it seems like anyway. Uh, more Italian troop convoys. In fact, this is where they put them. <laughs> they moved them all up here to send them to Germany, I suppose. Uh, we sunk three German submarines. All right, fantastic. I think that might be our best uh, victory yet in the seas. We haven't had many. So that'll be helpful. Uh, this guy's here. Let's go ahead and grab this province. We're going to try and uh, cut this guy off so we can destroy him. And now they have three units here. Yeah, this is essentially impossible. Yeah, we're not going anywhere here, guys. All right, so we're going to take that province there. Um, let's go ahead and grab this one here, I suppose. Got to wait for this unit to cut them off. And we could further advance, but let's just focus on getting this unit cut off and destroyed. Uh, and, damn. We might be able to defeat that unit. So let's go and attack him here. We have to wait to attack with these guys. They're just too weak as for right now. Uh, we can modify our officer core. Uh, but with our little bit of political power, we're going to have to hold on to that, though. Uh, because we have manpower issues. Uh, and there's also a lot of things we get with the the political power that would probably be better for us. Uh, let's go and take a look at these units, see if they got their planning bonus up. Not quite, we're at 47%, so we're going to wait until it's fully built up before we do our attack there. That gives us time as well to get the, uh, uh, the infantry equipment situation dealt with, though it's not really making a lot of progress. Uh, once we're not fighting any uh, over here anymore, that'll be big, and it looks like those troops just took off. Okay, well, we'll take that. All right, so should get over here soon. That'll cut that unit off. Yeah, one day and eight hours now. Let's go and see what happened over here. Sunk three Italian destroyers. All right, we're having some, some success now, guys. In the seas. And not losing as much over here because we pulled back uh, a lot of our ships. It's just the submarines now attempting to sink any convoys that are there. While the, uh, the bombers are supposed to be helping us. We haven't seen a lot of help from them, though. All right, so we'll get over here, and uh, this will allow us to go ahead and now wipe this unit out, or try to anyways. And he's just going to keep on going up along the coast here. Uh, we actually were defeated right there. All right, so this guy needs to attack here while he comes over this way. Make sure they don't uh, reconnect this guy. Oh, we actually are facing some resistance here. All right, so we're going to have to stop that then. We'll just push forward here then and over here. Maybe we'll get behind that guy as well. Having trouble just wiping these units out, though, because our units are so weak. And the Australians want to send us some lend lease. All right, we'll take that. Let me ask South Africa as well, see if they'll give us anything. They would not. I'm not going to bother asking New Zealand. I'll ask them. <laughs> I already know they'll say no. They won't have any equipment for us. But we can ask. Yeah. As I expected, they do not have the equipment to provide to us. And now we're starting to lose a lot more submarines over here, guys. We might have to pull back the submarines. I just don't know if it's been worth it over here anyway. Yeah, we're just not having enough success. And the bombers aren't really doing anything either. Yeah, they're really just not doing anything over here. So let's go ahead and keep these guys here then. Actually, can we get over here? We can. This would be huge for us. Uh, so let's go ahead and send some some fighters over there for now. Uh, we can do the more ground crews. Well, actually, we need to use that command power, so we're not going to do that yet. Uh, these guys here, let's take them off the naval strike. And then put them on close air support here. Or we could even move them over here. Try and make this go a little bit better. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That'll further exhaust supply, I suppose. I, I guess because it's um, tactical bombers, they don't have to move right there. They can move over here and still provide some support. Yeah, that'll work out, I suppose. Uh, let's go and take a look at the submarine situation. Yeah, we've lost a lot of these. I think we should just go ahead and pull them back. I don't think we're sinking enough to justify the losses right now. So let's go and stop the convoy rating and then just put all these over here so they can repair up. 
All right, so still trying to get that unit destroyed. They're pushing us back now. Zelda. Cannot win in Tripoli. No success there. Got a unit over here to stop them, but yeah, we're just not doing anything here. Uh, they've actually pumped more troops over here. All right, so this is a problem. But we don't want them to, to be able to reconnect with these guys. I really want to get that unit destroyed. It'd be really sad if we can't wipe them out. We're just too weak to even wipe out a unit we cut off. Did we ever get that port? We did. We got the port over here. Uh, it looks like it might have helped a little bit. These guys now lo no longer lacking supply. But yeah, just look at it. how garbage of a position these guys are at when it comes to their supply. And uh, it's affecting the organization. And of course, their strength is, is going to be affected no matter what because we don't have any infantry equipment. Yeah, I feel like I want to advance here. That's raining right now, so we'll, we'll want to wait for that. I don't think we have the full planning bonus. Maybe we do. All right, we got the full planning bonus. Uh, this guy here isn't trained up. suppose that's okay, though. Is everybody else trained up? Uh, we got one unit over here. I'm going to let them train here. I'm not worried about them attacking us there. And, yeah, I guess we're going to try and attack now. Um, see if we, can, if we can get a win over here. Uh, yeah, everybody's got the full planning bonus. And, you know, their equipment's pretty low. Like a third of their equipment for some of these units is pretty bad. Well, let's try. Because uh, I really want to make some progress here. And we need to, to bring our planes over here. And this guy is actually on naval strike. I didn't see that. Let's put him on the uh, close air support. Alright, so now they have more fighters here. Could move our own fighters from over here. Maybe we should, since we're losing here, and I don't want to actually lose any planes. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and move the fighters over there. And we'll see if just the close air support can, can operate over here. If they can't, if they, they send fighters over here and start shooting our bombers down, then what we'll want to do... Oh, this guy's about to cut us off, isn't he? Yep, sure is. Uh, when's he get there? Uh, one day and three hours. Currently we have a unit going over there, and he won't get there till five days and eight hours. Okay, so, hmm. Let's just go and retreat this unit. And let me see if we can't, like, attack him. Ah, that's not going to work at all. Alright, so yeah, he is set to get cut off. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything I can do about that. And if he takes that, that also reconnects this guy. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. I can try attacking with him, but I don't think that would be successful. And we just can't win here. Uh, we are winning in Tripoli, though, so there's that. Uh, probably because he's been attacking us and exhausting himself. Uh, so, yeah, this is really bad. I think we'll have to attack with this unit. He's the only one that has a chance of, of winning. Uh, but this takes him so long to get over there, so I don't know if this is going to work out. Uh, but once we win here... There we go. Beautiful. Now we'll just be able to focus on these fronts. All right, so... And we can just get some more units over here. He's retreating now. He'll get there in two days, but yeah, that's not uh, quick enough. So what we're going to need to do, we still got him moving over there. We'll have to attack here, but that's not going to help for very long. But just need to lock him down for two days while this guy retreats. Got ten hours here. I suppose we're going to attack with that guy. Although, he gets there in 23 hours, so then you only got to lock him down for, uh, you know, 13 hours or so. Hmm. We got another unit over here. All right, excellent. Um, so which one's getting over there first? That's this guy. So let's go and attack here. Lock him down for a little bit longer, and just hope we can get over there in time. Because if he takes that, then uh, this unit's completely destroyed. All right, so we got somebody over there. Excellent. So now we just need to get this unit here wiped out. All right, so we should be able to get that done now. And we just got to keep this province until we wipe that guy out. So we do have to continue to attack here. Let's go and send this unit over this way. Or, you know what? Actually, let's do this the other way around. And attack here with this guy. Just trying to get this unit here destroyed, and then it won't matter as long as we got this unit. And we did. Excellent. So we got to get this guy destroyed. It's not looking good. Uh, over here, we are actually currently winning. Uh, do we control the skies, though? 
We do not. In fact, they just pumped a ton of planes over here. All right, so let's not even do all this. This is just silly. Um, so let's go and, and bring this fighter back over to here. Put this fighter back over to here. Make sure that uh, we control the skies over there. And then I guess these guys would also just move over to here for now. Just in case they attack us over here. We're weak. Because we still don't have that uh, supply hub yet. Uh, sunk uh, another Italian convoy there. Right, excellent. And probably some more right here. That's a German convoy. And one of our convoys was sunk too. So just trying to get this guy destroyed. Uh, but this has been a tough fight over here just because of the supply problems and the, the cruddy units and the lack of equipment. This looks like we should be able to hold out on that. Just keep on rotating these divisions into the attack here. Just long enough to get this unit here destroyed. Might be able to win here. Maybe not. Eh, uh, maybe. Yeah, we'll try and push him back there. Yeah, okay, we just keep on rotating the units in here. From both sides here. And then we should be able to hold on to it while we get this unit destroyed, which should be mere moments. Yeah, he should be destroyed very soon. Uh, Portugal just declared war in Spain. Well, that's horrible timing. Uh, the Spanish do not have any troops to uh, resist them. So that's um, not good. We'll take the lend lease from the Soviets. Uh, but the Spanish are in a horrible situation now. Uh, I do expect Portugal will likely... Well, they're not aligned, so maybe not. I was going to say they'd like to join the Axis, but yeah, that might not happen. All right, let's just try and get these here done. Get these constructed. Uh, but yeah, the uh, Spanish are in, are in some big trouble now. Uh, we could attempt to help them out. As long as uh, they're not at war with Belgium here, then we have these troops just sitting around. Uh, so you know what, guys? Let's go ahead, put Henry in charge here, and then move his army. We'll just get rid of this front. And he's going to go help the, uh, the Spanish out. I don't know how well this is going to work out. And frankly, we don't really have the equipment to help them, but somebody's got to do this. We can always pull them back. And maybe at that point, the Spanish or the Soviets or somebody will be over here. But for right now, we're just going to send those troops over here. Uh, it's going to take time for them to get over there as well. Still not winning here. Yeah, we just can't get the win there. Portugal did join the Axis. Okay, not surprising. Uh, how will that affect things if they declare war on us or when they declare war on us? Okay, well, you got the Portuguese territory here. So they're going to invade into this. So therefore, you're going to want to move a unit here down to this port. Try and stop them. I'll see if I can't get them to go down there quickly over to this one. I don't think we have any other units in Africa. I moved them all over to here, to North Africa. Uh, with Sub-Saharan Africa, that's the only unit we have. Um, South Africa. We'll be able to make these Portuguese territories here though so I guess you got that uh, we do have this one unit here but yeah we don't have to worry about them there I think we're okay for now um, we are taking attrition here is that just because he's training that's just because he's training okay just want to make sure I'm not taking attrition unnecessarily but yeah we just can't get the win there all right so we wiped that unit out fantastic news uh, now we have a supply over here, so supply is no longer an issue. Um, do we want to actually be pulled into this? Well, I guess we want to help out against the Portuguese, then yeah, we would have to. All right, so we're going to accept that. Again, this will likely result in uh, them attacking us here. Yeah, they did attack already. That's okay. I guess we could have waited to, to get pulled in until after we had moved this unit over there. Uh, but we got units moving over here. And we're going we're gonna to be needed over there. I don't know if they'll be able to win without us. Um, there are some naval invasions. But it looks like none of these are, are of our lands here. This is just uh, for our allies. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to get a win here, guys. It doesn't help that we're also attacking here in a blizzard. So let's stop this because the problem here... As you know, we're so short on equipment, we really can't afford to do attacks like that. Where we lose. Uh, decisions available, we got the war propaganda. We don't need to uh, be notified of that. Alright, so we did win here against this unit, took that province there. Uh, let me see if I can't get behind these guys here. We'll have to attack with everything we got here. 
uh, to make sure we can get behind him there. In fact, let's go ahead and send two units there. I wonder if we can win against this one. We cannot. But I think we're still going to attack him, keep him locked down. I don't actually want these guys to retreat, so you know what? Let's take one of them and pull them back. Make sure that that's actual, actually a loss. And then uh, we should be there soon. Alright, so we got one more unit coming, so let's go and bring both of these guys over here then. Alright, so hopefully we should be able to get, uh, what is this, the three Italian divisions uh, cut off. Uh, so let's go and attack here now, and we're going to attack with these guys as well. And with these guys here. Uh, the Spanish did cancel the Unleashed, not surprising given the circumstances. Uh, so we should be able to get all these units destroyed. That's three Italian units wiped out. And with that, that might be North Africa. Uh, we might win there. Uh, so we lost a destroyer here, but sunk two of their destroyers. Also sunk a German convoy. Another German convoy sunk there. Uh, looks like our main fleet is engaging here against the Italians. Of course, our uh, fleet hasn't yet gotten here. I'm sure they'll run. Cowards. And what is this? the hell is going on here? <laughs> this is so messed up. Uh, yeah, let's just go and delete that. That's the arrow there. I'm going to give these guys one. Alright, so yeah, we'll get these three units wiped out. Looks like we'll also be able to push forward here. Uh, let's go ahead and support this one. Uh, you know what? Actually... Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll support with this one, but this guy, instead of attacking here, let's attack here, so maybe we can get that unit, uh, maybe get him cut off and completely destroy him, so we're not going to fight him all the way across here. I don't know, though, because it looks like this unit here is going to win, so we actually should stop that. We'll let him recover just a little bit while we get up behind him. I think it's worth it. And then attack. All right, and then have this guy just kind of march up along the coast here. Yeah, looking pretty good, guys. Uh, so, did this battle commence? Uh, we sunk two Italian destroyers. Looks like it's still ongoing here. We've lost one of our own destroyers. Sunk one of their convoys, though. Alright. Um, it doesn't look like any of our bigger ships have taken any damage yet. So that's good. Yeah, this is uh, one of our bigger battles here. Uh, if we just want to compare like numbers here. Uh, you know, depth charges aren't as important. There's not a lot of submarines engaged here. Uh, but neither side has a lot of depth charge points. Uh, fleet anti-air. Yeah, not much here either. Uh, torpedoes were better there. Uh, heavy guns, we've got them on that. Uh, the light guns, they've got us on light guns due to the number of uh, light cruisers and destroyers they have here. So they do have the light guns. That's probably how our uh, destroyer got sunk. It was sunk by Nuremberg. It's probably a light cruiser. Yeah, light cruiser here. So yeah, it's light cruisers that are causing us some trouble over here. All right, we're getting victories in the sea. That's what's important. All right, so this guy here is going to keep on advancing, and then we can easily cut off any Italian troops that might come over this way. Um, so let's have this guy attack here, wipe this unit out. So this is four Italian divisions that will be completely wiped out. Uh, we lost another convoy there. Sunk two Portuguese convoys there. Lots of German troop convoys coming through here. I wonder where they're going. Are they going to Portugal? We lost those two destroyers, thinking three convoys. Uh, our troops are over here now. All right, excellent. Uh, and you see that we unfortunately have lost some territory here, but we'll go ahead and cut those guys off. And um, the Germans were given this territory here. All right, so let's actually increase this this way so one of these guys will stay here. Uh, I guess the is open, so we're going to grab it, and then it'll allow us to get this unit here completely cut off. Yeah, he'll be there in a matter of hours, and then we can go and wipe him out. Let's go ahead and now advance up along uh, the coast here. And we'll bring this guy down here make sure we don't get cut off. And uh, I don't think this will be necessary having the troops on this side. Let's go and bring these guys over this way then. Uh, we're still waiting for a division to get down here. Clearly he did not take the railroads. He didn't get the memo, I guess. Alright, so they're actually attacking us there. So we're going to need to provide some assistance. Could push forward here. It's better to go right here, though. Alright, so let's go and attack this guy. And also send a tank into this attack here. 
We'll attack with this guy as well. Just make sure that's a win. Alright, so I think they made a huge mistake here. The Portuguese. They left the south like wide open. Yeah, lots of troop convoys coming there. We just lost a submarine, unfortunately. We will sign these non-aggression packs with that uh, Commonwealth of Nations faction. Uh, let's go and just shoot over to Benghazi. This is kind of risky if the uh, Italians send another uh, army over here. Uh, it's a possibility as well. So we just need to get this guy here wiped out. The sooner we get that done, the better. Charles de Gaulle, unfortunately, fell ill. That'll affect these units over here, because that's who's leading them. And there we go. All right. Uh, so we wiped out all those Italian troops, and so now we're just advancing the front. Uh, we do have the tactical bombers over here. I don't think it's necessary anymore, but we'll keep them just in case. Although we could have them come assist us here with the... Uh, yeah, let's actually go here and switch them back over to the naval strike. Try and get some assistance there. We'll keep the fighters over here for now, though I'm wondering who controls over here. Nobody. Okay, so this is a better use of the fighters, I think. Let's put them over here in southern Iberia. Make sure we control this zone. Uh, let's go and push forward here. And we don't need to defend all this. Alright, so this is the Portuguese division that we'll have wiped out. Uh, this guy here is going to try and shoot towards the capital, if we can. Let's try and see if we can't get the, the Portuguese to capitulate. Since again, I think they made some some silly mistakes over here, guys. Yeah, they, they really didn't uh, do this very well. And uh, they're going to suffer because of it. Uh, we might be able to get them wiped out now. And then move our troops back over to the, the Belgium front. Uh, so, a destroyer for a destroyer here. So that's unfortunate, because I prefer not to lose any destroyers. Uh, while doing that, can we get any other planes out there? Let me just take a look here. We got 79 tactical bombers, 34 naval bombers, really not much. Unfortunately, haven't got much built just yet. Uh, well, we can go ahead and get the spirit of the army. Uh, we have some adjustments to make the tanks. We're going to wait till we have more things to give them, though. Uh, but yeah, we, we also can get all these, but little power is devoted to something else right now. And uh, we can get these for just some, some army experience, so let's go ahead and do so. Uh, so, the most useful for us might be that one. Entrenchment speed plus 10% would be helpful. Uh, we're not getting the land doctrines right now. That wouldn't be all that useful. Uh, yeah, I think that this would be the most useful for one for us right now with the entrenchment speed. And yeah, none of these other ones are really going to help us as much. I mean, daily command power is supposed to be useful. We actually have command power, so we need to use that. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do, guys. Of course, manpower is always always great, and the encirclement penalty reduction would be nice as well. But, you know, I think we need to go with this. And also, it looks like we're losing right here. Okay, I didn't see that. Uh, they did launch another attack at us over here. Okay, um, these guys are really weak, so we can actually go and attack them, maybe get a victory there, finally. I think they made a mistake there, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and, and send some assistance over here. Make sure we don't lose that. And focus on defense, not attack them. It's the winter. Um, you know, if it's a real easy attack like this here, we'll do it. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, we're just going to get too big of penalties uh, for it to really be worth launching our own attacks there. Uh, so yeah, let's just go and keep on pushing forward with these guys here. And, you know, I feel like... I guess once we get over here, we'll put some of them on over to Syria, and I'm not entirely sure. We'll send the rest. We'll want to do some naval invasions, uh, but you know we don't control the Mediterranean yet, so that's not really a possibility. Again, I'm surprised with just how poorly we've done in the seas. That has been a uh, uh, been quite unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, now it looks like we should be able to push forward here. Now I don't think they'll be able to stop this. That was a silly attack on their part. They shouldn't have done that. They should not have done that. Uh, we are set to lose this province here, though, so that's a negative. I can try and attack here, but you got these two divisions that are about to leave. Uh, so yeah, just attacking in the mountains in the winter seems kind of silly. Uh, they're doing it, and you can see it's not working out well for them. Uh, also, this should not be on the purple army. These guys can stay here. Instead, let's rotate them up this way, where we need them. 
All right, so it's wide open now. Uh, no forts, no mountains. Uh, we're, we're in a, a very good position now. Uh, so let's go to advance towards Genoa with the faster units. All the slower guys are going to attack over here. Uh, the purple army can cover this, I suppose. We'll move the red army here. Just focus on advancing the front. Uh, the cipher for Germany is done. We're not going to use that. We're just going to take the, the passive bonuses for right now. Uh, so, of course, when we leave the passive bonuses here, we get the air deduction plus 5%. Uh, interception mission efficiency isn't that useful since we're not using that. Uh, we do get the cipher bonuses for the uh, civilian army, navy, and air force intelligence. So that's nice to have. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just keep it for now. And I guess we need to decrypt somebody else. Let's do the Italians. Oh, I did forget we were fighting in, in Portugal. My bad. Still trying to win there. Still trying to get across the river here. Uh, he's advancing towards the capital. I guess we didn't really miss anything here. Still winning there. Uh, this unit here could do something different. I'll just let somebody else wrap that up. Um, let's go over here. Yeah, I'd like to cut these guys off. You'd have to go all the way... Yeah, that probably wouldn't work. It's just better to advance. Advance the front, I think. Alright, so the, the Spanish are lucky we came over here to assist them. Alright, so a lot of uh, attacks going right now. Uh, let's go and send these guys up over here with the tanks. I don't know where he's going. Let's send him over this way, though. So we should be able to win there. They don't have their fortifications here in this province. And uh, they also don't have their mountains. Uh, now it is winter, so you do have that problem. Uh, we got the fuel refining too. Excellent. That'll be helpful. You can see it already put us in the green there. We're actually going up for once. Uh, and we're very close to 1939. I wonder if we got that supply hub over there. We'll take a look at it in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I guess we're close enough to 1939 to start working on 1939 techs. Uh, we're going to go with the Concentrated Industry 3. We absolutely have to get the industrial focus first because we do have all those massive penalties uh, due to the inefficient economy, which we still have not yet gotten rid of. Uh, so yeah, we're kind of getting hit with that. And thus, we definitely need to focus on those industrial techs. We'd probably get those early on anyways. So the Italians try to go up around here, and uh, we got them there too. They didn't know our submarines were in the area. So that did not work out well for him. Well, that's weird. We got stopped here. Must have been a unit here or something. It's the only thing I could think of. Alright, so we're advancing. About to take over the rest of Libya. And then we'll have those troops freed up. Now they're just colonial troops. So they're not great or anything. But yeah, we're seeing progress across every front at this point. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this province first, since that's worth some victory points. So is that one. Taking forever to wipe that unit out. And uh, they're attacking us here, so we're on the defense. So not bad. We're making some good progress over here for the number of units we have, which is not much. About to get all of southern Portugal under our control. And uh, we're also making progress against the Italians, which was imperative, I felt. That we get that done. And uh, this will increase our soft attack for infantry. Excellent. Uh, we will not get that just yet. So we'll just continue with the industrial techs. Get the construction next. Uh, speaking of construction, let's just take a look see where we're at. 30th of December is when we're going to get that done. We would have had it done already. Uh, but because of the time it took for us to end that, that battle there. Remember, it wasn't building there in that time. Uh, we need more military factories. So let's go and make sure we get these going. Just really focus on the military factories. It's not winning there, but we'll keep it going uh, since they are also attacking us here. All right, so yeah, we, we luckily won that battle. Uh, we have taken this province here. You see that there's already units over here in Genoa, though, so we're gonna have to stop this. Uh, we'll try and get behind them instead. And that's pushing units off of the front. So that is helpful. I'm surprised we were losing in general. I guess it's like not very good units for attacking into a city. So we could try and send some infantry with them this time. Still not doing great there. So let's just pull back. And just wait. Because yeah, we're still trying to win up over here. Uh, we got the non-aggression pack offer from Australia. We'll accept that. 
Uh, and it looks like we might have sunk some more convoys coming through the, the English Channel. Uh, we lost two more submarines. Sunk a destroyer, though. And uh, more convoys sunk as well. All right, so over here, it looks like we will not be able to take the capital. They they actually did defend the capital, surprisingly. Um, so let's go and attack these guys here. Let's get them going up that way. I suppose the tank can come wrap this one territory up real quick. And uh, let's go and advance across the river here and see if we can't cut off the rest of these units. Oh, never mind. The Germans got there. We need to wait for them to leave. And that means this guy won't be able to move here either. Écoutez. All right, so he can just go here then. Put him onto that front. Make sure that they're getting a planning bonus when they sit here. I think they were, but we'll give them a new one. See how we're doing here in North Africa? Okay, so they did bring some troops over here. We weren't really prepared for that. Uh, they're gonna have better supply over here because they have Benghazi right there. We do have a lot of troops over here though. Well, they do not. And we've already gotten some victories here. Uh, now that one unit's already leaving, he already quit. He's like, nope, no thank you. All right, so not able to do anything here yet until we finish up this defense. There we go. All right, so we moved over there. Hoping they'll pull all these units off of this here. Just sucks that we, I, I knew this is what always happens. Uh, every time I build a supply hub, by the time I build it, I don't need it anymore. Because yeah, you can see it's, it's gonna be done and, and we won't need it that much anymore. It's kind of a, a problem I hope they fix. Because again, I feel like the, the main issue is that the uh, supply helps just take too long. All right, so we need to get probably into this province is what I'm thinking. And yeah, it's planes, so we can go and send some tanks into there. We'll send these mountain troops too, though. All right, so they're attacking us, but they're not gonna see any success. Uh, we're not seeing any success in our own attack either, though. Yeah, no success here, probably just too many units. We did get our national focus completed, develop the colonies, but remember that doesn't do that much. It's just compliance, which is helpful. Uh, but yeah, now we gotta get all these. I wish these were 35 day focuses, honestly. Uh, but yeah, we gotta go ahead and do them, so let's go ahead and start on them. That's gonna take a long time. Uh, we lost another destroyer, but we sunk three of the German destroyers, so not a bad trade off. Sunk four more German convoys, three co uh, Italian convoys, and in the Mediterranean, we lost uh, a convoy of our own. All right, so this guy's gonna try and get over here. We'll have to attack him, but it'll lock him down. And I think we should be able to win here as well. Just try and get behind him if we can, get to Benghazi. So yeah, they did end up protecting the capital there, unfortunately. We should be able to push this German unit back. We better just go up behind him though, honestly. Let's try and do that. We'll just stop this here. Do this a little bit differently. But yeah, try and get right here and then cut off Lisbon from the rest of the country. And uh, this unit will be cut off and get him destroyed. Well, I guess he'll still have the port. Yeah, he'll still have the port. Uh, over here, we lost seven convoys. Damn, that's unfortunate. Uh, the German submarines apparently are also in the Mediterranean now. I don't know if we've seen them over here before. I think it was just all the Italian ones up to this point. All right, so now we're losing there. Let me see if I can't send another unit and turn that around. Put this guy over here instead. Maybe. Yeah, we're having some difficulty now. Uh, this is clearly not going to work, so we're going to stop that. And we're just going to stop this as well. We're winning here. And then we can move the fighters forward, although I might have moved all the planes out. Yeah, all the planes are out. Instead, we have them over here in southern Iberia. Uh, we do control this this zone, uh, but there's really not much fighting over here anymore. Going across there, we're going to send multiple units across there. And uh, then we'll be in the new region here. So let's go ahead and move. We'll check see how many planes are up here. Yeah, that's not too many. Uh, so let's go ahead and move over here into the northwestern Iberia. And see how much of a difference our unit makes here, our plane. Ah, nice. Turned it green. Uh, I did not see what was going on over here. They only have 200 fighters. When it's only the 200, I mean, I guess our planes are pretty cruddy. We don't have the greatest planes over here. Uh, but yeah, if they only have 200 planes over here, then we'll move them. See if we can't turn this around. They always seem to move their fighters whenever I do, though. 
Uh, so we're now losing right there. Let me see if we send more units. Yeah, I don't think so, guys. It's the winter. This is not the best time for an attack, honestly. Uh, but, you know, it's helping us as well, because they're doing that silly attack into that mountain province. Uh, even if they win there, I mean, what do they gain? Not much, really. All right, we're losing here now. Let me see if we can't get a win here. Once again, we're having supply issues. Might have to build another damn port. I don't want to, but they moved units over here. And they keep moving units over here. Yeah, we might have to build a port over here. Because we're really far from Tripoli at this point. And so that's an issue for us. We, again, don't have any damn supply. All right, well, we can get planning up. I think we're going to have to build a port here, guys. All right, so we'll build it right here, I suppose. Could build it here, but if they attack us there, then the port will stop building. We'll put it right there, so it's at least getting the full 15 factories, since we still haven't built that supply hub over here, because uh, I keep on attacking that province. I'm uh, going to get some Soviet assistance there, though. All right, so yeah, just hold on to it, make it costly for them. Uh, we're holding out here just barely. Might need to send another unit over there and make sure we don't lose that. So it is in the red. Uh, let's take a look and see the situation over here. We lost a submarine right there. Uh, so we haven't yet cut them off. We need to use this unit to do that. So yeah, we'll send the motorized unit, try and get over here. Uh, there's nobody there to stop us right now. Uh, it's a bummer we missed that opportunity. Oh, yeah, now there's a unit there. All right, so I don't feel like we need to defend all this here. We'll probably pull this guy back and then send him over here. All right, so just get some more units into this province. And maybe we can win there. And that would be big for us. Uh, Non-aggression pack from South Africa, which we'll accept. Are we getting any equipment from them yet? No. Let me see if they'll give us anything. They would not. Okay, so that's a shame. I feel like the equipment that we've gotten from from our allies and and from that faction, I don't think it's been that helpful. I mean, it's been something. Everything helps, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I mean, we're still you know desperately short of infantry, infantry equipment. Uh, everything we've done so far has only got us up to fourteen thousand. Uh, you know, on the on the loss right now. It's how much we need. Uh, so it's good we built the board over here because they did end up attacking us right there. They're also attacking us over here. So that might give us an opportunity to attack them there. Yeah, it looks like we should be able to advance there. And now this guy's really weak. And we got a sandstorm over here, interestingly. Uh, let's go and attack here. Looks like we should get a win now. All right. Uh, so yeah, having some progress because they launched their own attacks. Uh, let's take a look over here. Kind of just stuck on the defense for now, though. This is opened up. Looks like we should but advance there. Though it looks like we might also lose this province here. Okay, we have the political power to make uh, an adjustment. I feel like we have to change up the manpower laws just in case, guys. And like right now we can't build units, but we don't want to run out of manpower. I don't even know how we've been doing on casualties. We haven't looked at that yet. It's hard to say how exactly we're doing. Yeah, I wish we had more units down here. Uh, also, it looks like we're protecting this area. This should not be. Oh, because they advanced the front there, I see. Uh, but yeah, we don't need to have our units all the way over there. We need them back down here. I mean, I guess you could keep them there. Uh, I just don't think we'll be able to advance much here. Yeah, whatever. We'll keep them here for now, I suppose. It's fine. Uh, what you could do is just take one of these guys and move them over here. Since we have all this Soviet assistance here. I think we're all right. Now here, I really feel like we're going to have to move this another little notch here so that these units can just focus on this area where we're trying to advance the front. Now it looks like we should be able to win there, maybe. This here, I'm not entirely sure how this will go down. we got to win this one here so they can support that attack. Uh, also, we can get an air doctrine. All right, so we have 100 air experience, but... We haven't knocked these out yet, so I think we should go in and get those. And then we're going to do the centralized control, increase the fighter detection, and most importantly, get air mission efficiency up by 10%. So we're going to get that, and then we can go and get the, the other one as well. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think we need the air advisor costs. Probably research speed. I know that's you know, we're not going to be researching until 1940. 
I don't want to have to switch these out and use the experience for that. See, I think that's probably the best one for us to get is the research speed. All right, excellent. Uh, we have the last spirit of the academy, uh, which, you know, this one's not as useful as these ones. It still helps. 50% to level up attack would be nice. Maybe we'll get that. Yeah, I think that might be the one we end up doing. Uh, the train traits, 20% bonus is nice too. But you know what, let's get the 50% the to, to increase the attack. All right, excellent. Uh, so we've gotten all of the uh, spirits in here, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. That's been done. And uh, still trying to get the win here. Struggling, because we're still trying to defend this location. So we've sent another unit into that. You see that they are about to get behind us here. Uh, but that's okay, that's not their own victory point. If they want to keep moving that way, it's fine as long as we don't get cut off. Uh, we are just trying to get the win here. Uh, we are fighting those Germans there. It's like a convoy there. Let me just see what's going on up over here. Uh, it looks like we got pushed back. All right, so that's concerning. Can we push them back? Probably. Yeah, I don't think we would have win here. Our units are just too weak. And uh, a large part of that is because of the, the lack of supply here. Um, so we're building the port there, but that's not going to be done until the 3rd of February. So we got to hold on to that province at the very least. And now they have a unit here, so we're just going to have to stop this. And focus on defense, I suppose. Yeah, it's, it's just a uh, shortage of supply over there. All right, so let's go ahead and assist here. It doesn't look like we're going to win there, um, but maybe if we send in these units now, that they finished up their defense, maybe we can turn that green again. I really want to attack the city here. Let me see if this will work. Maybe. Yeah, that's a big maybe. Uh, we still haven't built the damn hub here. Uh, 18th of January now to get that done. Uh, we have a military factory. I didn't see that. My bad. Uh, so let's want to get this signed. Probably to infantry equipment. That's what we need, guys. That's what we need. I'm going to see if we can advance here. Uh, we cannot. Yeah, it looks like our allies uh, push past the Maginot a little bit. They haven't been able to do any naval invasions, but we're still going to protect there just in case. Uh, we do need to take a look and pay attention to naval invasions. Just got one uh, that's going to be hitting the islands there. But yeah, when you don't control the seas, you got to make sure you're, you're, you stay aware of the fact that you could get hit. Losing a lot of convoys. This is going to start, uh, yeah, you can see we're already uh, feeling the effects of that. Uh, we are sinking a lot of their convoys as well, though. Uh, they're trying to get around our submarines with uh, no success. Looks like an Italian division got cut off there. He pushed too far forward, clearly. And yeah, we just can't get the win here. What if we uh, helped out here by attacking here? Helps a little bit. Uh, but you see they're moving more divisions down here. This is just uh, unfortunate. I wonder if we can... Nah, I don't want to do all that. Let's see if we can cut a unit off over here. We got just got to get this done, essentially. Alright, so we're just going to have to stop this and focus on defense. Let these units get through here if that's where they want to go. We just got to get the defense done, essentially. That's imperative. Uh, so, let's go and see what we sunk over here. We lost a submarine. Uh, we sunk a convoy, though. Another convoy there. And another one there. Again, I do expect these are high casualties. Sunk a Portuguese destroyer there. And lost more of our own convoys as well. Yeah, this is getting kind of costly for us. All right, so we pushed one unit back here. It looks like these guys did not advance, but we should be able to push for it here now. We'll try to anyway. See if that's a victory. Looks like it should be. Uh, but yeah, definitely struggling here. Um, let's go ahead and push forward up to that. Uh, we won't use all the best units, I suppose, all the, the guys with the best organization. Uh, we also go and try and see if we can't get that airbase now. Still building the port, uh, which something was done on the 18th of January. Is it this thing? This is the 3rd of February. This was the 18th of January. Clearly, they attacked us again here, uh, and we are now losing that, so we're going to stop that. And now they're attacking us. Uh, we're never going to get that supply hub done. Like, never. All right, so we're holding out here, but here we're losing... While we do this attack, only got one unit on defense. Yeah, we're having some difficulty there, guys. Um, over here, also, just not able to do anything. We're just going to have to have to win the defense, essentially. Focus on winning that defense. 
And then maybe we can try and attack across there. Uh, so, got another unit over here. Got to focus on defense then. Uh, we should be able to advance there though. And we had a building sabotage, unfortunately. Uh, got some convoy sunk there, but yeah, we are going to face some resistance in that newly conquered Libyan territory. Not surprising. Uh, so yeah, we made some some progress here, guys. Uh, we pushed a little bit into Italy. Took a couple provinces here. Uh, it's going to be slow going, given the circumstances. Uh, we almost have Libya wrapped up. We're starting to, to see a little bit of resistance here, just from these three divisions. Uh, but until we get this port built, uh, which should be in a couple weeks here, uh, we're going to have supply issues. So that's making us weaker. Can't get the win here. Struggling here. Just to try and wrap this up. Uh, it's an unfortunate situation, though, because uh, you can see the Germans have pumped a bunch of divisions over here now. So, yeah, it's, it's uh, not good. Uh, but luckily, our allies have come over here to assist. And I wonder how many convoys we sunk uh, that came over here to, to help out the Portuguese. Uh, let's go and take a look at all the, the battles here. Lost another submarine there. All right, so that's unfortunate. I think we built the submarine, though. Yeah, we have one built. So we're going to add that one over to... I guess we'll add them to this one. Well, we can't add them because they're currently in combat. We'll have to wait until that, that battle finishes up. Uh, but yeah, so far, not not too shabby, guys. Could be worse. Um, over here, it looks like we're taking heavy losses from our fighters. Uh, so probably should move them back over to here. And just focus on uh, protecting us here. Uh, but yeah, clearly we, we're not winning the air war there. Uh, it looks like we took a lot of uh, fighter losses. Yeah, now we're in the negative here. So that's a shame. I think we're probably losing some here as well. Yep. Uh, but we do control the sky right there. Uh, looks like they're coming up behind us. All right, so we are having some problems here now. We put all of our divisions over here so I could kind of burst through here. But yeah, it's, it hasn't worked out for us. All right, so we had some victories, uh, you know, in Italy and in Libya. Uh, it is a bummer that Portuguese joined right now, but that does allow us to try and get them knocked out of the war and wrapped up. Uh, I was kind of hoping to see them do a little bit something more. Um, I did forget all about this situation here, uh, but it looks like that worked out in our favor because now we can grab the, the ports here and then maybe wipe out that unit. Uh, they are advancing over here. I forgot they had that territory here. But yeah, I don't really care enough about it right now. Yeah. Probably not going to do anything about it, so maybe we'll do something about it once we get this unit taken out. Uh, South Africa is not at war with Portugal yet, so they're not invading into their into their territory. Uh, they are in the war, though, right? Yeah, they're in the rest of the war, just not with the the Portuguese. So that'll help out here and get those uh, territories finished up. Uh, but let's go and take a look at the casualties, guys. So currently we are uh, we've suffered from forty nine thousand casualties. 45,000 of that to the Italians, 2,000 to the Portuguese, and 1.6,000 to the Germans. So if we compare that with how many casualties we've done to them, uh, so with the the Greeks here, they've taken 57,000. We haven't fought them. Uh, the Germans have taken 252,000 casualties. So them and the Italians have taken the most casualties of the war. Yeah, it's been pretty hefty for them. Uh, we did 127,000 of that. Wow. Look at that kill-death ratio, guys. Uh, they've killed 1.6 thousand of ours. We've killed 127.4 thousand of theirs. Now a lot of those were in the sea, uh, but there's also been those that have been attacking the Maginot, which was uh, silly. Uh, so we've done the majority of the casualties against the Germans. We have 16% of the war participation, though not much. Uh, but they've also taken a lot of casualties from Czechoslovakia. Uh, they're still in the fight, uh, but they are slowly losing their territory. Uh, the Hungarians have taken 32,000 casualties, all in Czechoslovakia. The Portuguese, 21,000 casualties. We did 14.4 thousand of that. Remember, they killed 2,000 of ours. And currently, they're 21% towards capitulation. The Greeks are 7% towards capitulation. Czechoslovakia is only 8% towards capitulation. Uh, and then the Spanish, I guess, might have lost a little bit of territory, but not enough uh, to have any real effect here. So against the Italians, we've killed 244,000 compared to 45,000. It's almost a 10.0 kill death ratio. Of course, not as good as what we've done to the, the Germans. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty good, guys. That's not bad at all. A lot of those are in the sea, but we've also killed quite a few in North Africa. So yeah, I think we're doing very well. Uh, of course, a big part of this is all those convoys that we sunk out there, but yeah, we're doing very good. Uh, the Commonwealth so far hasn't done anything. They haven't taken any casualties yet. Uh, just looking at the rest of the countries over here on our side. 
Uh, Turkey has taken 127,000. That's a lot. Uh, so they're actually losing, very clearly losing, when it comes to the casualty war, uh, to the Greeks. They've also taken a lot of casualties to the Italians. Yeah, overall, Turkey's not doing well. Yeah, Turkey's struggling right now. Uh, Soviet Union has taken 198,000 casualties, not as much as Germany or Italy, but still, that's a lot. And if we just compare how they did against them, yeah, I mean, they're not really doing well either. Yeah. So the Soviet Union is not doing good against our enemies. Uh, Spain has taken 27,000 casualties. Yeah, I doubt that's... Yeah, they're not doing well. Uh, horrible kill-death ratio for them. Czechoslovakia has taken 166,000 casualties. Wow. So overall, our side is, is taking very heavy casualties. Uh, 570,000 total. The only reason they have taken so many more losses than our side has is, has been because of us, essentially. Uh, other than, than our role in this war, you take our role out, and uh, then the, the Axis are clearly winning this this conflict when it comes to the casualties. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's it's going pretty well, though. Uh, I think we've done good. And, uh, you know, we've, we've still got a lot of issues. Uh, we're slowly getting them fixed, though. Uh, just looking at the equipment, uh, you can see that we're now at 14,000. So we're slowly getting out of this hole, but it's still pretty bad. Uh, we need more military factories. Currently only have uh, 15, uh, so we need to get that number ramped up. Uh, we'll get a lot from our focus tree, though. Uh, so this one here is going to grant us a ton because uh, two military factories in every area that you've invested in. Uh, so that will result in, just right here, results in eight. Uh, but then we have three more areas that we're invested in. Uh, so that'll be, what, like 14 military factories or something? That's a, that's a lot. And then... There's the military factories you get over here. There's another four. And then I want to say there's somewhere along here we'll get some military factories. Yeah, right here. That's a bunch of military factories. And and there's more. So we can really ramp up our uh, our factory production here with our focus tree. We just got to get through this, these three here, these cruddy ones. Then we'll get a bunch of civilian factories. We might not even do that one first. I don't know. Because, yeah, you can't get this until you have 75 total factories. I mean, we're almost there. Yeah, I guess we'll be there at that point. Yeah, I suppose you'd go these three, then get the civilian factories, then get the research lot, and then do the military factories. That's the plan, guys. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching.